Hi everybody, welcome to this quick video which is going to be showcasing the Excitex Sheet Generator. So this is going to be using Microsoft Excel, Autodesk Revit, Dynamo and Excitex Docs. Now what this will do is this will allow us to set up all of our required drawing sheets just utilizing Microsoft Excel. Why would we want to do this? Well, it's a lot quicker to generate drawing sheets inside of Excel. As you can see here, I can just um, drag down the information and that then generates sort of my drawing numbers and I can do the same for my discipline, my document type, level and so on. Also over here, you can see that we're calling up various different title blocks for each type of drawing. So I'm using A1s for most of these, but then I've got some schedules and things that are going on to perhaps A2 sheets. Let's now go into Dynamo. So if we go into Dynamo here, you can see that we have a Dynamo graph set up. This is utilizing some of our Excitec docs nodes that we've got in here. So I'll just show you this package. So generally in Dynamo 2.0.1, which is the version I'm using here, you can see that we've got all of our out-of-the-box nodes in the shelf library. But if we look at some add-ons in here, you can see that we've got an Excitec Docs add-in. And if I open this up, you can see that we've got a, a comprehensive list of specific commands to interface with Excitec Docs. Another way of utilizing this is just to type in Excitec into the search bar, and you can see that the shelf library now just shows Excitec Docs nodes. Okay. So I'll just quickly step you through the Dynamo script. So here we're reading data from Microsoft Excel. Down here, we are um, sifting through the data and splitting it out to generate the drawing name, the drawing number, and the title block view. Up here, we're getting the project information. Down here, this is the BS1192 part. So we're writing the specific fields into shared parameters inside Revit. And then finally up here, we are placing each view onto a relevant drawing sheet here and then positioning that view onto the sheet. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually run that. So it should only take a few seconds. And you can now see that all of the drawings have been created. So here we've just got a simple sheet list. If I now open up the sheets folder, you can now see that um, Dynamo has now populated all those drawing sheets. So if, if I open up this view here, for example, I could manually now obviously start to place my views out. But what you will notice is that uh, the key plane has been placed onto each sheet. Now, in this particular example, you can see that we're looking at an A2 sheet. But if I open up the ground floor GA, this is an A1 sheet. And you'll notice the same key plane is placed here, but in a different location. So Dynamo is actually enabling us to place any amount of views that we want onto drawing sheets. Now, a big advantage of this is if we just take a look down into the metadata in our properties palette, you can see that things like the originator, volume, level, the role, the document type are all published down through here. What that means is I can then go ahead and use my browser organization to perhaps look at the BS1192 data by document type. So you can now see I've got all of my drawings inside a neat little folder there, and I've got my schedules down through here or we might want to look at it through level. In fact, I can set up any number of uh, different browser organizations based on this metadata. So that's very, very useful. And of course, in, in Excitec Docs, the same drawing sheets would already be set up. Okay, I hope you find this useful. Uh, speak to you soon.